rising housing costs, both for houses and apartment rents, are a mystery. This is the story that Agatha Christie might have written, if Mrs. Marple were a retired economist. The solution to the mystery suggests that housing prices and rents will soon level off, perhaps even falling in some areas. Single-family home prices increased by 18% in 2021. This figure is from the Federal Housing Finance Agency. All data in this article are for the United States. Rising house prices would not be a mystery if the low mortgage rates had led many renters to decide they could now afford to buy houses or condos. But apartment rents have also soared. In the 12 months through March 2022, average rent rose 17% according to Apartment List. Tom. So shifting demand between renters and homeowners is not the culprit. Rising demand for all types of housing could be explained by surging population growth. Another clue that does not comport with the mystery is extremely weak population growth. The Census Bureau estimated that in 2021 population grew by less than 400 people, the lowest growth in over 100 years. Increased population is not responsible for higher housing costs. Perhaps we have not been building enough new housing units. After all, a house does not last forever. Not only do we need to replace very old housing, the nation's home builders have to accommodate migration of people from the snow belt to the sun belt. Empty houses in Detroit and rural Iowa don't help people moving to Florida or Texas. However, housing starts have increased from pre-pandemic levels as shown by the Commerce Department's monthly report. In 2021 one, 6 million new housing units were started, compared to 1.3 million the year before the pandemic. More new housing would certainly have eased pricing pressures, but home builders are erecting homes as fast as they can given constraints on labor, materials and, in some locations, buildable lots. The usual suspects for rising housing costs are not to blame, so we must consider what Mrs. Marple would suspect, what about the roommate? Or, more accurately, the missing roommate. For the number of households soared in 2021, up 1.5 million according to the Census Bureau. The greatest proportion of the gain was in non-family households, people with unrelated roommates or no roommate at all. That was enough of an increase to stimulate demand for both houses and apartments, but we're left wondering why the sudden change to living alone? The most likely reason was high income. Disposable income, after-tax income, soared in the pandemic, thanks to stimulus payments in the first year of COVID-19 and then higher wage rates in the past year. 